got deja vu. How about you? I have no idea what that's supposed to mean. It's I a, know deja is a UNSCAI. Deja vu is a uh, gentleman's. Deja vu is when it's French for already seen. It means you feel like you've seen something before. Why do I have that sense right now? Because we have seen this before. Why is that? Because this is attempt two of going on a hike at High Hut. Right, so we're back at High Hut. Same exact camping spot we were in last time. And we're I gonna... doubt we're more than five inches off from where we parked last time. Yeah, we're real close. So we're gonna, we're gonna try it again. We're gonna camp out. Not supposed to rain at all. Uh, and uh, we're gonna hit the trail in the morning. Got the tent up real quick, super easy. That's the great thing about these tents right here. Um, you just pull off and set up camp. You're good to go. Uh, right now I'm starving, boy. How about you? <laughs> I couldn't agree um, more. So uh, now let's eat. <laughs> Got the water heating up already. We do it pretty simple here. Just boil water and do these uh, freeze dried meals. Miles wants spaghetti again, so that's what he's getting. As, as we, we forgive, forgive those who trespass, trespass against, against us, and lead us not into temptation, temptation but, but deliver us from evil. evil. Amen. Amen. Now I get to see if you're keeping your eyes closed. I wasn't keeping my eyes closed the whole time, I'll just tell you that. <laughs> Alright, what do we see in the morning? Uh, it's morning time, how'd you sleep? I slept well, I only woke up once. It is uh, 6.08 right now. I woke yeah. up at like 5.30. I woke up a few times. I always do when I'm camping. Uh, but yeah. Skies are cloudy but dry. Finna put on some oatmeal. Get some more food in our bellies. Pack up and head up the trail. What do you think? I think that's an awesome plan. Seeing as I'm starving as I always am. <laughs> Alright. So we got the tent back up. Pretty easy. It was um, pretty much the same process as when it was when we took it down. All right, uh, 7.04 now. We've eaten, um, brushed teeth, and got everything packed up, squared away. So I'm gonna park it, and we're gonna go hit the trail. All right. <laughs> it walks up an old logging road, so no vehicles past this point. You ready? Let's go. Just a few minutes in. And this tree down tells me that this uh, logging road isn't much used by vehicles. I think it's been here for a while and I don't think it's going anywhere anytime soon. And just after that, we have another down tree. And if you can see behind it, back there, there's another one. This is down tree three and just beyond it, down tree four. A big old slug there. We'll see if it's in the same spot when we come back. I bet it will be. What are you looking at? <laughs> so, I'm gonna stop cataloging it. I've lost count of how many down trees there are on this trail yet. Just, just know when you come here, you're gonna have to uh, maneuver around these things. All right, just about 3,000 feet. And this sign, High Hut Ungroomed Trail, Backcountry Expert. Um, it doesn't appear to be pointing at anything in particular. And it's loosely facing the road that we're on. So, we'll see. At some point it might get to be an expert trail, but right now it's just an old logging road. About 3,300 feet. And as the Bengals would say, there's a patch of snow on the ground. 3,600 feet and coming into some more snow. Uh, haven't seen any offshoot trails to take, like if we're gonna try to go to a different one for High Hut. So I'm just gonna assume that we're still on the right one. Um, if not, this will be a trip to Anderson Lake. <laughs> we're kind of going at Miles' pace and whew, laborious. What do you think so far? It's interesting. <laughs> I was aiming for not falling down at all, but the snow trip ruined my high score. <laughs> you gonna make it, boy? Almost. <laughs> 3,800 feet. 
think I'm looking at High Hut way up there. Not 100% sure though. And also not 100% sure that we're on the right track. So we'll either end up there or at Anderson Lake. Yeah. And uh, we'll name the video whichever one we end up at. And about 3,900 feet. We're starting to get better looks at the hut. And hut's a funny name for it. It's actually a pretty well-built little building there. I haven't seen a break off for high hut yet. Uh, it says we're about eight tenths of a mile from uh, Anderson Lake. Um, but it's a pretty nice little structure. So they must have used this logging road to get the supplies up there. Because this isn't some rickety thing we're heading to. I mean, you can see the uh, glass windows from here now. And, you know, they're not, they're not hauling that in backpacks up there. They had to get it up on this logging road. There's got to be a connection somehow. So here we are, a little uh, fork in the road, about 4,060 feet it says. It says avalanche area, not really worried about that. And this is about the best look at the mountain you're going to get on this trip. So not bad at all. So the clouds bleeding over, pretty cool looking. But I, wonder, I wonder if going down is the way to high hut. Um, I'm just going to kind of stick my neck out over there and take a look. Alright, so we're at this junction and we're going to continue on to what's probably Anderson Lake. Because I don't know if this is the split for High Hut or not. I didn't bring a map, but my GPS my battery's working all kinds of screwed up right now. I kind of blew it on preparing for this thing. I just drove out here without doing any research. But I forgot all the notes that I read on WTA about where the heck this trail is. Um, I just wanted to get out and do it because we didn't do it last week. And, Bad preparation on my part. And not too far from that junction, the valley kind of opens up a little bit and we can see what's probably Anderson Lake ahead of us. All right, son, we're here, Anderson Lake. Just like we've been talking about for weeks, we planned this whole trip out to Anderson Lake yeah. and now here we are. Oh. So great to finally arrive at the lake we've been talking about so much. All right, so yeah, we're stopping here at Anderson Lake because that's the one we can find. Um, there's not a lot of navigable shoreline, at least not right around here. So it dumps us right out into uh, some logs that are floating and not a lot of good areas to walk around and get pictures, at least not on this part the best it's going to get as far as clear views of this thing. We're heading back now. Um, there's not much to do with that lake. Uh, if you bring waders, they've got signs down there for fishermen. I don't know what lives in there, but you know, if you want to hike all the way out here to fish, I guess you could do that. But not much to see for just people trying to do mountain trails. About 4,060 feet. It's the highest point we reached today. Um, and down to the lake, you have to go downhill a little bit, about 200 or so feet. And we just made it back up to that. We're at the tippy top and it should be all downhill from here. It should be nice. Hopefully the boil will go a little faster. The one that got away. There's a lot of animals scat on this trail. Poop. This is a very poopy trail. Here's that big slug we saw earlier. Much. Hasn't moved much. I think the branch that it was on is over there now. That's accomplished. Yeah, something like that. So we tried to get up to High Hut and we made it to Anderson Lake. No big deal. Um, we saw High Hut anywhere. We, what it seemed to resemble yeah, High Hut. We had a good view of High Hut. Anderson Lake is not that spectacular. It's not, there's very little room for you to sit there and do anything. Can't really walk around the shore. Yeah. Um, yeah, I mean, like as far as objective, the end point of it, this hike's kind of lame. I would say there's tons of places you could do besides Anderson Lake. Tons of lakes you could see besides Anderson Lake. How about Frozen Lake we saw yeah. at Fremont? So just yeah. go do Fremont. You, you can also see Frozen Lake. Yep. There's some pluses to this hike. Uh, you're walking essentially on a logging road, so it's easier on the ankles and knees because you're not twisting around on rocks and stuff. The grade can be a little steep every now and then, but... It's really not that bad, and walking down is kind of a piece of cake. It's a 
because I think like what a hike regularly should be like you go up then you go down yeah. instead of like I go up oh no I'm about to lose all my progress yeah we, we like it when you uh, you get the climb out of the way before you see what you're there to see and then head down the way back but even though this hike didn't turn out to be my favorite it's it's still good just to get out and get outdoors look reject clown world Leave your house. We're out. I want to leave this place. Can't take it anymore. Fucked in a room in the flames. The burning down around me. And now I see the... Here it is, boy. High hut. Just like we came out to see. Isn't it majestic? Isn't this hut beautiful? Aren't you glad we came out here to see this hut?